Hey, quick question about Rick and Morty. You know that game Roy, where you play the life of a guy named Roy? Is that exclusively a human game? Like, I know other aliens can play it, it's on an alien planet, but is Roy exclusively a human? Like, can he be other species? Is there a setting so that the game takes place on Crutebulon or something, or is it Earth every time? Or maybe the game identifies what species you are before starting up, so humans can only play as humans, and Crutebulons can only play as Crutebulons. But that one guy watching Rick knew what a social security number was, so that implies that either social securities are common among aliens or the aliens are well aware of human culture, specifically the ones where we use social securities. Which if that's the case, does that mean being a human is some novelty experience? And don't tell me no, that would be boring to anyone who's not a human. In the real world, we play games that simulate jobs. People spend real money to buy fake steering wheels and fake gas pedals just to play freaking trucking simulator. Then again, being a trucker isn't necessarily a novelty experience. It's just different. Maybe being a human is just different, but it's well enough that it's kind of a novelty different. Like everyone knows what it is. Everyone has fun pretending to be one, but no one would go down to earth and actually become one. I don't know. It's just weird to me that all those aliens got excited when Rick took Roy off the grid. I feel like they shouldn't have known what that meant. And then there's Dave.